Sajelia Island in the Sundarbans, the world's largest delta, adjoins the Sundarbans Tiger Reserve. The island is home to approximately 40,000 people. It's been a century since electricity was first harnessed for human use. Yet, this island hasn't seen power lines till now. The decision of the government to not take uh, grid electricity to Sajjali Island is uh, not because the government does not want people to live on Sajjali Island, but for the simple reason that uh, the grid would have to cross a number of rivers. And Sundarbans also being an area where high intensity events like cyclones are pretty frequent, the issue of snapping off wires uh, has been factored in. On such islands in the Sundarbans that are off the grid, people depend on the forest for their energy needs like lighting, cooking and heating. The dependence of local communities on firewood for cooking and lighting also means venturing into the forest where villagers would come in contact with wildlife like tigers, putting both humans and animals at risk. But change is close. And for good reason. WWF India is working extensively with rural communities in the Sundarbans to provide them with renewable energy solutions that are easily available, cost-effective, while reducing carbon emissions and pressures on the forests around these areas. Sehestra Jyoti, or Beacon for the Sundarbans, is a project aimed at bringing sustainable development to the Sundarbans landscape in India by enabling energy access to 1,000 households in the region, all through solar energy. With your support, we can set up individual micro solar power stations for 1,000 households in the Sajjalia Island. Help switch on the Sundarbans with solar. Make your contribution today.